Hello again, my name is David Watts, and I have with me today Tisha Jefferson. She is the Worldwide Segment Manager for High End and Blade Servers. How are you doing, Tisha? How are you doing, David? So today we're going to be talking about the Think System SR850. This is our new 2U four-socket server. So Tisha, tell us about the server. Who's the target audience for this, this sort of machine? So this, this server is targeted for customers looking for performance in terms of cost. You know, this is for customers looking for the reliability that you get they used to get on the E7 processors. Now you can actually get new to the new scalable processors. You can actually get that reliability in this server now. So customers who previously were looking for four sockets and high reliability now be, can get that in a 2U socket. So you can do a lot of consolidation, virtualization mm -hmm. in this server. And this machine has it's a four socket system and it has a large memory capacity too with uh, up to 48 DIMMs. We'll show you those in a moment. So really quite a high performance, high capacity system. Definitely. Yeah. So let's have a look at the front of the system um, and show you what the, uh, the drive bays are and so on. So on the, on the side here, um, we have space for up to 16 two and a half inch hot swap drive bays. Um, the server supports SAS or SATA um, hot swap drives. Um, or alternatively, you can have um, a, um, a, what we call an any bay backplane, which allows um, SAS, SATA or NVMe um, drives. NVMe is great for high performance storage with the lowest possible latency because they're, they're PCIe connected drives. Um, so 16 drives, eight of which can be NVMe. Um, Tisha, on the side here, what, what, what are the connectors and, and the buttons there? So on this side, we have two USB ports. It can either be two USB 3 or a USB 3 and a USB 2 port. Actually, there's two USB 2s, right? Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, yes two yeah. USB 2s. Um, yep. So, and, and one of those USB 2s um, is the port for X-Clarity controller uh, management, management, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so where you can plug in actually now and control your server via a tablet. Right, so the idea is that you can tether with it with the, uh, you know, your phone cable or your, your tablet cable um, into the USB port, and then you can use the X-Clarity administrator app on that device to uh, locally manage the system. Correct. Yeah, so that's a great, great new feature for, this, for the whole Think system line. Yeah. Um, what else is there? So actually, we also have the operator panel here, which is for the power, the networking um, activity, also for locating. There's a lot of LED um, information you get from this one. So it's the system status. Yeah. So if you're in, in a, uh, you've got the system in a rack, and you need to identify a particular server, you can um, uh, remotely activate that ID button, or you can press it locally, and then both the, the LED, the blue LED on the front and on the rear of the server will light up, allow you to. To, to physically identify which system you're trying to, to manage. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, also available on this system is a pull-out panel, right? Yes, it is. So uh, that's an optional panel that gives you a lot more information about your server. Um, it's kind of like we've had before in some of our systems, but again, it gives you the information that you may not be able to get from just the LED panel. Yes, yeah, so it has a pull-out LCD, a little LCD display with some right. buttons that allows you to get more information. Correct. Diagnostic information. Yeah. Yes. Very good. All right. So that's the, the front of the server. Let's uh, just spin that around and have a look at the components on the back. So you can see here um, on my side um, all the slots. There are a total of 11 PCIe slots. Yes. They're all the, um, the regular PCIe slots you see here. They're all PCIe, PCIe 3.0. Um, they're all accessible when you have two processors installed. This system supports two or four. Those are the two Correct. combinations. So if you have just two processors, you get, still get access to all of, all of the, the slots in the system. Right. Yep. Um, the 11 slots includes an M.2 adapter slot, and we'll tell you about that too in a moment. That's the, uh, the new um, OS boot offering that we have for the system. Uh, Tisha, on that side, um, the so, power supplies? Oh, so on the power supplies, we have two power supplies, and they're 750, 1100, and 1600 watt power supplies. Again, and that's very common across our full portfolio, our and, power supplies. Yeah, so it means that if, you, if you're a distributor or a partner, you can stock these parts um, knowing that they're going to be compatible with the full range of Think System servers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the ports on the bottom? So on the ports on the bottom, we have the studio port, the video port. We actually have the management, too. I'm sorry, that missed that one. That was yep. down on this end here. Um, and then we also have the ID port here. And we had two other communication ports. And the ID yep. LED there. Yeah, OK. And now also, the, uh, this um, network connector here, this is the LOM adapters, right? Yes. Yep. Um, well, we'll let, can, you, can you describe the functionality of those? So we have the, the new LOM adapters, and actually we have a lot of options in terms of our LOM adapter. So you actually have six options there. You mm -hmm. have the RJ45, 
you actually have the S um, SF, SFP sorry yeah. um, adapter there, and you also have the in terms of dual and quad ports on that. Yeah, yeah. So and a variety of different choices for, yeah. for, for yeah. network connectivity as a standard LOM, LOM function, and that also includes um, the NCSI capability, which means that you can use these ports to connect to the X Clarity controller, the systems management processor, um, in addition to traditional uh, uh, Ethernet traffic. So it's a dual function there with, yeah. with NCSI. These, these uh, adapters support that. Let's um, open the server up, shall we? Let's do that. You can, you can see the processor here on the top, the, the two. Yep, so these are, these are actually processors three and four, and they're installed on a, uh, a mezzanine tray, the processor and memory expansion tray, as Correct. it's officially called. <laughs> so this mezzanine board uh, sits on top of the other two processors, which are actually underneath. So we easily remove that. So the first step is to remove the top power supply. That's right. Make sure it's pulled yep, out. Pull out that. And then lift this tray up. And then it easily lifts out like, like so. Of course, you do this with the power off, right? Yes, you definitely yeah. do it with the power yeah. off. So I'm going to put that over there. Let's get this out of the way. So you can see, let, bring, it, let, let, bring it a bit closer there. Let me point out. So we have four processors. Um, each processor has 12 memory DIMMs. Yes. Now, in terms of capacity, what does that mean? So that, that actually gives you up to... Three terabytes of memory inside the server. Yep. So if you want to have, um, if you want to use the the 64 gig DIMMs, LR DIMMs, for example, that would get it up to a total of three terabytes of memory. If you want to use the um, the 32 gig R DIMMs that we have available, that's 1.5. 1.5. Yeah. Yes. So quite a significant amount of, of memory capacity in these systems. Um, the processors are the Intel Xeon scalable family processors, and they go all the way up to. They go up to 165 watts. And, and up to 28 cores. Yep. So these are these are the the platinum. These are up platinum to, family, Yeah, they right? support up the they support actually the gold and the platinum family, but the top level is the platinum family. One, the, and that's the, up to 165. 106. We support up to 165 yeah. on this server. Yep. All right. So let's look at the other components here. Um, the the these things at the front. These are the hot swap fans. So yep. we have one, two, three, four, five, six hot yep. swap fans. Um, the orange symbol. You, if you're familiar with System X servers, the orange means that they are hot swap. Um, Removable while the system is operational. So this is the N plus one redundant. Yes. Um, fans. Um, let me show here the at the front here we have um, this is where the back planes for the storage, the, the two and a half inch hot swap drives go. So what we have here, this back plane here is a uh, two and a half um, eight bay SAS SATA connect uh, back plane. I also have I also have a an NVMe back plane, and that would go it would actually go in the place of that one. Um, it's back to front. Uh, and, so th and the second backplane would go here. And you can see here that unlike the SAS SATA backplane, the NVMe backplane um, has both SAS and SATA ports and four NVMe ports. Yes. So we, we call these bays our any bay. Any bay. Um, any bay meaning that, it, that the drives that go into this backplane can be either SAS or SATA or NVMe, right? Right. So it's for customers who actually may not be sure what they're going to do, and it allows them to make their changes in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this server supports up to, um, ha supports two of these backplanes, these AnyBay backplanes. Mm -hmm. So you can have up to eight NVMe drives. Yes. Um, or if you don't want to go to NVMe just yet, it would, you'd have, you could have up to 16, 16 SAS or SATA. Half. And the way the connectivity works is, as I pointed out, you've got the two SAS SATA connectors here, and they route through the cabling to the back of the server to a uh, standard SAS SATA RAID controller like the one we have here. And the NVMe ports go to this um, NVMe switch adapter. And that will plug into one of the PCIe slots too. And then the, the ports route from the adapter through to um, the, the, uh, the drive base, to the back planes at the front. Now, if you have the, if you grab that, if you have the, the um, uh, mezzanine tray, the Right. Expansion tray on top. Then two of the ports will ports. be uh, will come from these NVMe ports here that come from the the, right. the processors three and four. So that's how that connectivity works there. Now, also, let me spin this around a little bit. What we also have at the back, next to the slots, um, is this M.2 adapter here. So as I mentioned at the beginning, um, M.2 is a is a storage technology. Um, we have cards that are available in formats of uh, 32 gig or 128 gig. And these 
this, the adapter that is installed here, this is a Lenovo patented design, in fact. Correct. Um, th this adapter here is, that we have installed is a dual M.2 adapter. That means it can have two M.2 M cards, one installed either side, and it can be configured in UEFI as, a, as RAID 1 or RAID 0, or just as JBOD, if you wish. But the RAID 1 means high reliability. Right. But even if one of those cards fails, then the system is still can still access and function um, from those those devices. Right. And you would put on on those cards, you know, uh, your operating system or your hypervisor. Mm -hmm. You might even want to use it for for diagnostic tools, uh, deployment tools, that sort of thing. So that 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 is accessible as as a device. And I have what I have here is the is the single version, um, the single adapter, which and it has in fact the uh, the the 32 gig M.2 card is already installed in it. So you can see it's only got one connector on this one, whereas the one installed has got, got two. That's true. So there are choices here if you want to have a lower cost um, single drive, uh, single adapter or the dual adapter. Um, I would, so I point out to that there's the RAID card here. The, the server supports a variety of RAID adapters um, in for internal storage and also for external storage as well. Right. And a variety of network adapters and fiber channel adapters as well and SAS, SAS HPAs. Um, now, the riser cards, tell us about those. So the riser cards, we actually have um, several options with those. Let me take a look. This actually is our, our LOM one, our ML2, I'm sorry, our ML2 one, and mm -hmm. our by 16 one. So the, we have three options on this, but this is just the one we have in the system now. So th this particular riser card has uh, space for two adapters, um, but there are other riser cards that have three. So the configuration choice is quite flexible there. Um, I would point out that there's a USB port here that, that we're showing here on this server. Uh, this is a pre-production system. Uh, that USB port won't exist in the, in the final system, so uh, in, the, in the production level right. system. So you, you don't get that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think that's about it. Um, Tisha, any, any more final comments? No, I think that's it. All right, very good. Well, so this is the Think System SR850. This is our new 2U uh, four-socket system that uh, supports four processors, and 48 DIMMs. Um, Tish, thanks, thanks very much for that. Thank you, David. Uh, hope you found the video useful, and we will see you later. Bye.